Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Patty, and today's I'm gonna show you guys how I bake and prep and assemble my dessert cups for an event um, as a small business owner, uh, owner? <laughs> owner in uh, my home. I do make videos on my small business, lifestyle, mom life. Um, I am also a 2023 bride, um, so I am making videos on that. So if you guys like that kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Get right into this video. She wanted to be a part of it. <laughs> okay, guys, so I am starting off with baking my cake and my banana bread. So I baked two, like big like sheets of not big but i baked two sheets of chocolate cake because that's what i was doing as you can see right there and then i started on my banana breads while they were in the oven so um if you guys want me to make like a or do the recipe for like my banana bread because i do make it from scratch as you can see um i could make like a separate video on that um, but here I am obviously just adding all of the all of the ingredients then I put my chocolate chips in the flour and I do that so they'd like all don't sink to the bottom I learned that on TikTok a little TikTok uh, tip um, but yeah and then I mash up my bananas and I use like the po um, potato smasher or the bean smasher I don't know whatever you want to call it um, but I use about two to three bananas. Um, here I used three because they weren't um, like really ripe. If they're really ripe, I use two. Um, but if they're not as ripe, I, I like to use three. Um, and I'm putting them in my baking dishes. And I did three. Well, I did two a nine by 13s. And I did another one that was a little bit smaller. I don't even know what size it is. Um, and then... I literally had one cup left so I had to bake another banana bread the next morning because literally I had one cup left and I was like really you gotta be kidding me <laughs> so in this next clip I'm gonna be showing you guys like the spoon or like the little spatula that I use and I know it's like dirty and like I did clean it off so I used the, like the spatula that's like kind of like a spoon um, instead of like the flat ones now I used to um, put my whipping cream into a piping bag but it was just really messy and um, just a lot of work to refilling it and again it was just like really messy and I was like Ugh. so I now use that like little spoon little curved like spatula and it makes it so much easier so here I'm mixing my whipped cream and uh, vanilla um vanilla pudding and that's what i use like as the frosting for my um for my cups and i do the same with my chocolate cups um so i do um put gloves on for this process and those are the gloves that i use and i got them at costco um if you guys were wondering but i just cut my banana bread um into like little squares and then I just fill all of my cups as you guys can see there and then I'm just using the like spatula spoon I don't even know what it's called honestly spatula <laughs> um to fill up my cups just like that and then I just repeat the process and then for the tops of these I use crushed graham crackers and chocolate chips but you guys can really garnish it like however you want um you can use like vanilla wafers or you know whatever you want so this was kind of like a a like banana pudding like inspiration i guess because i didn't really want to do banana pudding i wanted to do something kind of similar i know it's not really similar but <laughs> um like a banana like inspired kind of um so yeah um but i use graham crackers because they're just more cost effective um and yeah i just garnish it on the top and then i put on the lids um and then i put on these stickers that i got from amazon as well and i need to get more because i was like i literally used all of them for these cups um so yeah and then i just do the same thing for the chocolate ones and i pour in or not pour in but i scoop in the like the chocolate frosting and i use chocolate um pudding 
and then I put a crushed Oreo in the middle and then I repeat the process and then on the very top for the garnish I just use melted um, chocolate so as you see there and I just put on all the lids once again and this is kind of how they look I have like a better video at the end so here I'm just writing their names and if they have like two or more I put one out of two or two out of two um, or two I mean or one out of three or like one or two out of three and then three out of three so they know like how much they have so I have this big bin and then I have these two little bins so um, I'm trying to show you guys here the smaller one I use for these cups that I'm making now and then the taller ones I use for my 16 ounce cups um, so this just makes transportation um, just easier obviously so they don't like move around and these are going to my husband's job which I do um, once or twice a month sometimes even more it just depends um, but this is how they look like I hope you guys liked and enjoy and maybe I kind of answered some questions uh, but yeah don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video